What's up, guys? Uh, Mr. 44 Boxing. Uh, I got my man Reef from Newark here. Uh, what's up, my man? What's going on, family? Uh, chilling, man. Um, we got a lot of good fights coming up, man. And uh, one of those fights is Austin Trout versus Miguel Cotto, man. Um, what's your thoughts on this fight? Well, I just got friends watching some footage from Austin Trout and fighting with Delvin Rodriguez and his fight he had on Showbox. Um, Austin Trout's a good boxer. Um, he has used to punching. Um, he's undefeated. 25 wins. No losses. Well, of course, he's undefeated. <laughs> it's 14 knockouts. Yeah. So, um, I think, you know, he might give Cotto some problems early on, but I believe that Cotto know, more boxing skills and experience still adjust. And I believe I believe Cotto could win. Right. You know, it's kinda, you know, too early to call. Right. You know, I believe Cotto could pull it off. Definitely. Yeah, man. I mean Miguel Cotto is one of those guys that you just cannot bet against. Let me just go ahead and go on a quick tangent on Miguel Cotto really quick, man. Because I, I want everybody to understand how much respect I have for this man. There, there's no one in boxing who I respect uh, more than Miguel Cotto. All right, he is the opposite of what a superstar is by today's standards. Okay, here's a guy Miguel Cotto. All right, who has fought Antonio Margarito. All right, he's fought Floyd Mayweather. He just gave Floyd Mayweather one of the toughest fights uh, by Floyd's own admission in his career. You know, um, you know he fought Manny Pacquiao. He fought Zab Judah. He fought um, Shane Mosley. You know, who hasn't this guy fought? You know, at, and I feel like at the end of his career, um, you know, he'll truly be able to say that he left blood, sweat, and tears in that ring, man. And I really respect that. Um, and I'd like to see that from all these superstars. And, and here he is about to fight this young guy, Austin Trout. Like you said, Austin Trout, Austin, no doubt, Trout is no slouch, you know. Um, you know, here's a guy who's coming to fight. He's a southpaw. Um you know, and, and he's got some skill. I saw one of his fights um, on YouTube, actually, versus, I think it was Frank Laporto. Um, I saw that fight. It ended early. Um, you know, the kid's got a little pop to his punches, too, you know. So here's a guy, Miguel Cotto, who has such a big fan base, man. I feel like he could have took so many easier fights, okay? He could have took a page out of Canelo's book and maybe make, like, a Victor Ortiz or somebody come up to 154, okay, and then just warm up for Canelo. So he could have did so much things and, and the fight would have still went big, but he puts his belt on the line versus Austin Trout. Yep. He could have took a thing out of Mir Khan's playbook too, because Mir Khan's fighting, you know, over an undefeated kid, but, you know, he's lesser known than Trout. Trout's a name that won't put you know, but, you know, he has a chunk of the title. So. Right, right. He, he's legit, man, and he's a dangerous fight, you know, and but that's what Cotto has done throughout his career. So you got to respect that. So let's go ahead and, and go into our little breakdown of the fight. Um, okay, so you sound like you're kind of leaning towards Cotto as far as who you think um, will win, I guess, based on the experience. Um, how, how do you see the fight maybe playing out? Well, I, I see Cotto winning this fight. Um, I think he might have Right. I also to see, there might be some low blows. Because remember in his ad to the fight, in the Marcus Corley fight, you know, Cotto was catching the low blows and things, man, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's the South Pole, you know, conventional dynamic, mm -hmm. you know? So, but if Cotto, if Cotto can establish a good jab and his body attack, that'll be his key to victory. Right. Right, I agree, man. Try to cut off the ring, you know. Try to cut off, cut off the ring if you can. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and the things that you named a good jab and being, a, you know, going to the body. I mean, that's 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 blueprint Miguel Cotto right there. You know, that's what he does. I mean, his jab versus uh, Floyd Mayweather was a uh, was amazing. You know, and um, you know, I think that's something to take into account. A lot of people are forgetting how much of a tough fight he gave to Floyd Mayweather. And when it comes to defense, you know, I give Floyd all the credit in the world when it comes to defense. So for Cotto. To be able to, uh, you know, really get to Mayweather in that way, I feel like he's gonna hit Trout. You know, there's definitely not a doubt about that. He's gonna hit him. Um, the question is gonna be how does Trout react to that? Okay, and, and Trout hasn't been in there with uh, anybody of, of the type of stature of like a Miguel Cotto. You know, um, and this guy's got a nice pedigree. 
Um, so yeah, I see him really outboxing Trout. I see Trout being a little bit tight on that big stage, man. Uh, the whole world's really going to be watching. Um, and, and I'm not sure if he could live up to, you know, that, you know, just that, that stage and that moment. It's, it's a lot. Um, he might be kind of tight being on that stage. We're just going to have to see. But um, I love this fight for both of these guys. You know, for me, I, I think Cotto is going to win. Um, and then go on to look to fight Canelo Alvarez, uh, which I will pick him to beat Canelo as well, just based on the pedigree of Cotto. Um, but even for Austin Trout, you know, even losing this fight, you know, I could see Austin Trout going to fight a guy like Cornelius Bundrich, you know, taking the IBF off of him. And, uh, you know, maybe getting a, a big fight, you know, after that, you know, so I see Trout still being in the hunt for being in some big fights. So that's why I really love this fight. I think it really helps both guys. And one for four, man. One for four, like I mentioned, like the Wild West, man. You got a bunch of young guns. I mean, the division is just that top full of talent, man. Right. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, we got to see, you know, Laura in the ring. Arizlandi Laura, we got to see uh, Marta Rosian. Um, you know, that's just some of the guys in this division, man. Yeah, there's there's some nice guys out there. There's still James Kirkland. He's still out there. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's a lot of fights at 154. And let's not forget about 160. You know, who's why can't these guys at 154 go ahead and fight the other middleweights? Um, at one point, the middleweight division was just one division. So heck, I want to see these guys going there and getting there with Peter Quillen, um, Gennady Golovkin, Sergio Martinez. Um, you know, go ahead and fight some of those guys at 160 as well so we could get some real fights. You know, I've heard Canelo saying that he was interested in Sergio, so why not? Let, let's see these divisions really push each other, man. I mean, guys, like, real young. That's the thing, man. Dude. Right. You got guys, like, in the early 20s, man, big 20s. You know what I mean? The prime in their life, man. This, this is it. This is even a division of the what? Between... I say between one forty to one sixty. I mean, mm -hmm. you got just top notch talent, young killers out there, man. Right. And simple matchups. I mean, it's just, it just makes my mouth water, man. It's just right. Wow. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's just a good boxing player right now. You know? Yeah, I'm I'm with you, dude. I'm with you. Um, you know, and, and I feel like going off of what you said, these young guys really should be looking to fight each other and take advantage of their primes. Because there's a lot of these veterans right now, a lot of these veterans out there, um, you know, I feel like they could have did a lot more when they were at this point that some of these young guys are at. So I don't want to see them waste it. I say go out there and fight these legacy fights now. And down the line, you're going to have your chance to get your, your money. Your money is going to come. But, you know, is the legacy going to come with it? What are you going to be remembered for? Okay? Because, I mean, money don't last forever, man. Money ain't everything. Um... But you know what? One thing I'll say, going back to this guy, Miguel Cotto, at the end of his career, when he looks himself in the mirror, he's going to be happy with the man that he sees because he's going to say, I did it all. I did it all. I made the money. I fought the, the legacy fighters. You know, um, so once again, man, hats off to Miguel Cotto for taking on this young challenge. Mr. 44 Boxing, that's my man, Reef. You guys go check him out. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.